Hey to all our subscribers and followers, it's Simon here from the Cine Film Factory. Um, I'm really, really, really hyped today, uh, really excited. You got me going to be bouncing about because um, I've got so many things to tell you about. The first really, really important thing is uh, earlier on in the summer, I uh, had an interview done on me and the work that we've done specifically, the, the, the piece of Titanic film that I worked upon. Um, so there's a magazine that's doing the rounds now uh, around the whole of the South, uh, all about that. I think it's got a distribution of about 64,000 people who are reading it. So that's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. But obviously we realize a lot of our customers aren't that local so may not have sight to it. So that then leads me on to what I'm really, really hyped about, and that is today is the launch of the Cine Film Factory's brand new website. Been a long time coming. Our previous website was great. It served its purpose. We had some really, really good feedback from our customers on that, which is really, really good. Um, however, we were slightly held back. There were certain things that we weren't able to do. So all of those things that we wanted to do, whilst also listening to some feedback from some of our followers, our subscribers, have now been addressed and are fully implemented. So now today is the day where we've launched www.cinefilmfactory.co.uk the new website so that now addresses all of the things and also for our customers who aren't local to us we also have an area on the home page where you can read a digital copy of that magazine and that article so that's one of the one of the things that we wanted to do um, the second thing that we wanted to do which is really really important to us is for the eagle-eyed amongst you, you may well have noticed that obviously on our formats tab where we've got our eight millimeter our 16 millimeter and our nine point fill of, uh, millimeter film we weren't actually showcasing any video content of 9.5 millimeter film that we'd transferred so that's because it's a obviously quite a rare medium. We don't see too much 9.5 millimeter film. But what we have done is we've now putting some videos together where we can obviously showcase that content because it really, really is a beautiful medium. It's a nice quality 9.5 millimeter. Obviously even better once by the time we've restored the film, put our magic into it and transferred it. But obviously our unique systems here now, we can actually get a high definition picture off of the 9.5. So we want to obviously, you know, share that with people and let people have a look. So that will be worth keeping an eye on is our 9.5 millimeter pack. You've got some beautiful images that are available. Second, uh, sorry, the third thing is the uh, second was the 9.5. The third thing that I wanted to obviously share was um, back on our home page again at the top to the right hand side of where um, the article is, where there's featured article where you can read digital news about us is uh, and projects are working on was to a showcase we've got two video sections for showcase um currently up there at the moment we've got two beautiful pieces of film that we've put together specifically for the launch of the website we wanted to share them with people it all came about at the right time of engagement engagement for the website engagement for obviously our our our, our people viewing but not only that it also came together because we've done a beautiful piece of regular eight film we've transferred that from 1958 we've restored we've transferred that to high definition that's there as well that's um, that's called mercedes benz at alton park regular eight film from 1958 now we launched that last weekend on youtube that video and that ran in conjunction for the motorsport fans out there would know that obviously it was the German Hockenheim Grand Prix last weekend and Mercedes-Benz were celebrating 125 years of motorsport. Those of you who know me will know that I love my motorsport. Uh, who could guess kind of thing and even my personal screens. Uh, but there's my, yeah, well, anyway, that's another one to talk about. So Mercedes-Benz, 125 years in motorsport. We had a beautiful piece of regular eight film, originally shot at Alton Park um, Motor Circuit, 
and it's Mercedes-Benz related because it's an old Mercedes-Benz truck that's taking off on the original Silver Arrows and it's a lovely piece of film it really is it is you know it's it's completely honest um it's shot as it was back in the day there's no costume there's no effect anything it's literally in high definition as is as was it's a period of time that was recorded in 1958 there and it is just beautiful and so that's on there we also tweeted we we social media uh, posts around that for mercedes-benz to have a look at etc and uh, got got the thumbs up so uh, yeah they, they they liked it too um so yeah that was absolutely great the second piece of video or on the on the showcase area on the website is 1960s a night time in new york beautiful honest piece of film it really really is it's um it's 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 got it's got a couple of scenes in it uh one of them is particularly eerie and i'm going to share it with you because when you watch it you'll see exactly what i mean and i think i don't think i'm taking anything away from the film by telling you about it there's a scene at the beginning and it's a hard transfer to do because it's night time of course so we're obviously low on our exposure but not only that it also is relying a lot on the neon lighting of Times Square in New York and it's so honest it's so beautiful the way it's shot as well the person filming the film is going along the, the sidewalk at New York and it's very very atmospheric but there is a particular scene in it and you will spot it and comment let us know on the video what you think I personally think it's yeah it's very atmospheric um, it's very intense it's a very intense part so as the camera is filming along the sidewalk life New York you know it's like a switch people just come in to buy their daily life but just out of the crowd there's a police officer back in the day in the 60s and he locks stare with the person who's obviously behind the lens filming it and the two of them even the person filming doesn't pull away he's not uncomfortable with the fact that the police officer's got a, a lengthy stare and the two of them but he the person filming still carries on moving along but turning the camera and it's a fixated stare between them it's very very intense and and then the police officer just looks away have a look check out the film see what you think transferred 16 millimeter we transferred that up into 2k and um it, it's just so honest it's it's absolutely honest um the other thing that we've done that i must mention on the website before we go um uh, i won't keep you too long is the blog post um our blog uh, article area that has had a big big revamp really held back on blogs that we were going to be able to write uh, or in, in the past now that's all sorted we're going to have some new blog content some really interesting stuff we've been wanting to say but just for many different reasons haven't been able to um, specifically being times so we've so so been so busy here with so many orders it's been a terrific year um, so yeah we, we've got some more blogs going to come out soon on our dedicated page so make sure you 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 keep an eye on or subscribe to us and keep an eye on what's coming up because we've got some really interesting stuff um, that's going to be there had a bit of a revamp to our testimonials that's another thing i quickly wanted to talk about it's so so lovely and it's so poignant and we absolutely love it that people actually take the time to once we restore their films and they receive them back and they take the time to write us a kind few words about how they felt and that we, we normally obviously the kind of work that we do do we do stir emotion in people because we are presenting <coughs> into the palm of their hands again footage that really isn't accessible anymore so we realize it does stir people's emotion it stirred my emotion certainly the first time you know that, that we I transferred my own films back in the day which obviously kicked this off but that's that's time for another vlog so i i feel that in the pit of my stomach and i i get that and i've stayed true to that with the business and that's why i offer or the service that we offer to everybody is because I felt what you feel when I had them done so that's why I had them had the business launched and that's why we've been a success as we put everything into it that we do as if your films were our own so people write such nice things back and obviously they're so informative for people and we wanted to obviously share that 
so our last testimonials page was a little bit boring a little bit random the text just kind of text to text to text to text to text now take a look at our new testimonials page we've got speech marks we've got bold captions we've got colored backgrounds different colors so they really really um they really stand out and i think the one of the nice things about it is is the emotive words that people use um because they are saying it from their heart. They, they, what, they, they, what, what, what you guys normally do is get your films back, you watch them, you're filled with all the emotion. That then gets written down, and that really, really is encapsulated there in that right there in that point. And that's why we wanted to be not not just that's why we share so many testimonials because it just makes for lovely reading. Um, that's it from me. Over and out, I've got a really interesting new vlog coming up very, very soon. That is about the um, work we did for the BBC's repair shop um, back in the spring that was aired. And we completely rebuilt the regular eight film that was on the BBC's repair shop, which is only up the road uh, from us up here in Singleton, near Chichester. Uh, that's where they film that at the Wheeldon Downland Museum. So we put together that film for the Beeb and they were absolutely delighted and thrilled. And so was the person receiving it back. So yeah, it's an over and out. Instagram is now, if I hadn't mentioned already, that is now up and running, looking fantastic. We didn't have Instagram before, we have just relied on our platform of Twitter and Facebook. But we've now relented to the Instagram, um, yet to see the merit of Instagram in respect of film transfers, but obviously it is an image-based social media platform. So many people now seem to be using Instagram over the other two, just a trend fashion thing. So we've jumped on board, we've adopted that. So all of the content that we do share across our socials, being the Twitter and the Facebook, are now on the Instagram. Uh, they're all nicely laid out at the bottom of our homepage. You'll be able to see that. Really, really would like to hear what you guys think of the website. It's so important. And so if you if you wouldn't mind commenting, let us know on this video, email us, tweet us, uh, Facebook us, Instagram us, DM us, the direct message. So um, there's lots of ways to get in touch and keep in touch. I will include all the links in the description of this video for everything you need. So yeah, let's um, let's make this one big even bigger happy community of film transfers and um, we're really looking forward to the rest of 2019 and we're in our slightly lull at the moment because it's the, the school holidays kids are off grandparents everybody's busy um, we're just about just starting to increase again and uh, the second half of 2019 we're really really excited for the projects that we've got coming in so it's an over and out from me Sai, and um, look forward to seeing you in the next vlog uh, be sure to keep an eye on us Thank you. Over and out.